some people may say that what I am going to ask you is either impossible, very difficult, or it may seem that it is foolish to do. What you need to do now is pray for your enemies. Even the enemies that mean you harm right now. Even the enemies that hate your guts and they are trying to do everything to destroy your life, pray for your enemies. And you may say, Kevin, what you are saying is very foolish. Why in the world would I pray good things for my enemies? When you show mercy, mercy is going to be returned to you. When you show love, love is going to be returned to you. When you bless other people, blessings have to, it has to return to you. Everything you do unto people, it has to, it has no other choice but to return to you. Also, God wants us at least try to get along with other people, with everyone, actually. Don't you know, when someone does evil to you, they are going to reap what they sow. So, you don't have to think about how to get back or how to get revenge at that person or from that person. You don't have to think about getting revenge. Yes. Because, and this goes for people who are in sin, people who serve God, when someone does you evil, God is going to avenge you. So that person that is irritating you now, that person that is lying on you now, that person that is slandering your name right now, God is going to avenge you. God is going to pay them back. So you know of the law, the spiritual law of reaping and sowing or sowing and reaping. Whatever you sow, you are going to reap. So whatever you do, it is going to, it is going to come back to you. You know of that law. Why not bless your enemies? Because God is going to punish or he is punishing your enemies right now. Why not bless them? Because God has or is going to pay them back for the evil they have done against you. Why not ask God to bless everything that they do. Bring them more money. Heal them. Make their life more happy. So on and so on. Why not pray for these things for your enemies? When they do evil to you, please listen. God is going to avenge you. So there is no point in staying mad at your enemies. Why? 
they are being punished now or they are going to be punished soon. Bless your enemies. Pray good things. Asking God to do good things for your enemies. God, please bless my enemies. If they are sick or hurt or anything like that, I ask you to heal them. Any pain, suffering, mental anguish, I ask you to remove all of that from them. Any demons that are hindering them, causing trouble in their life, I command them to be removed, to be removed right now in Jesus' name. Pray for your enemies. Well, Kevin, it is too hard. No, it's not. When you begin to understand more things about God and more things about demons, you are not going to really sweat the small stuff. The issues that are going on with you and your enemy, many of them, many of them, many, 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 many of them are really small, are really petty. And you are staying mad about something that is so insignificant. My Lord. Pray for your enemies. Reconnect in some way or form with your enemies. Do it. How is it going to hurt you? Is it going to hurt your pride? Perhaps so. But you need to get rid of that pride. Bless your enemies. Think of all of your enemies and pray blessings upon them right now. Even the enemies that are trying to do you harm in some type of way. Bless them. This is what God wants us to do. I am telling you the basic things of God. If you can't do the basics, how can you expect to increase more in God when you can't bless your enemies? This may not make any sense right now, but the more you increase in God, things are going to make much more sense. It is not that I am a good person or anything like that. No, I understand more things of God. So I see how foolish and petty and everything like that it is to stay bitter and hateful toward people that have done you wrong. Petty. Immature. Immature. I pray that this makes sense. Forgive your enemies. Love them. Bless them. Pray for them in a good way. Don't pray to God and ask God to curse them and put them in jail and prison. <laughs> Maybe a year ago, <laughs> for some of my enemies I was praying to God to put them in jail or something like that <laughs> not all of them but some of them <laughs> I was praying for God to do this bad thing to them and all this stuff here don't be like me <laughs> don't be like me Pray good things for your enemies, not to place them in jail or to make them sick or make them hurt or anything like that. <laughs> oh. I believe 
let me say this. If you pray in a way like that, I believe that that can come back unto you. Because I believe a person is going to reap whatever they sow. So if you are praying for God to place people in jail or make them sick or something like that, that can come upon you as well. It really can. So be careful <laughs> of what you pray for. Be very mindful of what you pray for. Now, you can pray that God brings more people to himself, but don't pray for God to punish people. Don't do that because that prayer can come against you. I am serious. So let me stop here. Pray for your enemies. Pray good things for your enemies, not anything bad. Good. God bless you.